Hello! Happy Thursday, Paul is best for UK here and welcome to today's game, a day video. Now today's game is Jungle Hunt. Now I played this on another system, can't remember which one, quite recently actually. Uh, I never played this Atari 5200 version. So this is Tartio America Corporation, which is an arcade machine, I don't even know. But yet this is Tartio, so let's have a look, or Tatio, however you pronounce it. So yep, let's start the game. So we get a nice little tune to start us off. Now the basic idea or premise of this is you've got to swing by each uh, Tarzan rope. So I remember that on the other system I played it on. Can't, like I said, I can't remember which one it was. Um, yep, so this is... To, this reminds me... It's sort of like a similar idea to Flappy Bird. I know Flappy Bird come out a lot later. But you've just got to get the timing right. So you jump. There we go. We've got the first rope. Now you, it seems like we've got some basic sound effects. Now, you'll notice that he's quite high up on the rope there. You can't go up or down, so you can't ascend, ascend or descend the rope. As, as far as I can tell anyway, because up and down he's doing nothing and noise left and right. So you've got to get your sort of timing right, depending on where he is on the rope at that particular moment. So we'll try about here. Yeah, there we go. We've got that one. So he's further down this time. Right, okay, let's do this. Yes, got you. So it's back up. The more higher up he is, the less of a chance you've got of uh, grabbing that second rope. So you've got to be careful with your timing. This is all about the timing, as far as I can tell. So let's uh, do this. I'm going to say now. Yes, there we go. A bit lower, so a bit easier this time. And yes, yeah, so it's like high, low, high, low sort of thing. Oh, that was close. So I almost missed it then. Bit lower this time, so I got a bit more of a swing on. Oh, you fuck! And the, the lower one I, I got wrong. So it looks like you don't have to start from the beginning every time you lose a life. Oh, you booner! That wasn't the best thing to do. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to press that, and it actually worked. Right, okay, so. Actually, I think being higher in the rope is easier than being lower. Right, okay, so. There's some good graphics here, nice like rotation effects of the ropes. That's quite good for the time, isn't it? That's like 1984, whenever it was. It's really uh, impressive, the animation of the ropes. So I've got some green greenery on it as well, like some... It's like in a jungle, obviously, so it's based in the jungle, so... Hey, we did the first part. Now on the second part, you've got to do some diving. Um, I remember this on the uh, other system I played it on. You've got to watch out for the crocodiles or alligators or whatever they are. Now if you go to the top of the water, like you can grab some air. So you obviously went some sort of snorkel device or something. There's a common misconception, isn't there, that if you've got a snorkel you're fine underwater, but that's not true. You have to have the snorkel pipe out that go in out towards the top of the water. Are you fuck? Game over on this one. So yeah, that was a quick look at Jungle Hunt on the uh, Atari 5200. Yeah, really good game. Nice variety. There's probably other levels as well. And uh, yeah, what did you think of that one? Did you like the uh, animation in the ropes? I thought that was quite impressive for the age of the game. So yeah, that's uh, Jungle Hunt, Atari 5200. I'm going to give this one 8 out of 10. Seems like a really solid game. Thank you for watching. Bye!